Hello, welcome to Ups and Bros, and this week I want to dive a little bit deeper into drinking habits. And why do I say drinking habits? I think it's something that came up a bit more often on the channel. And the reason why is, is that I've seen a lot and a lot of people online kind of like promoting a not healthy way of drinking. They're like sometimes going to glorify alcoholism to a point that it's really not healthy and not a good way to see the beer industry as a whole community as a nice appealing fun and also you know community wise if you want to be a community if you want to love beer uh, as a drink but also as a community then I do think that drinking habit is a big part of it and it's not something that should be taken easily so obviously I'm no superhero, I'm no superhuman, I have my own like downfall or whatever or my own wins but I'm not here to brag about them but I'm here to share maybe like just a little three things that I've learned from going dry for a month and how it kind of like opened up my mind to my own alcohol consumption but also the role it takes in my own life. First off, take care of yourself. What do I mean by that is Find some time during the day to go out there, walk, move your body, move, move up some stairs, uh, go run. Uh, if you work out, try to do sports. I know that right now being inside all the time sucks and it's just uh, kind of like has a down effect on us. But doing this makes it that obviously forces you to do something else and not just sit down and cry about it and just be like you know what I'm just gonna crack a beer because you know what we're all stuck inside so having this little excuse help a lot to just do something else and keep your mind off that kind of like easy route of drinking beer. Number two would be refrain yourself for, from buying too much beer. Don't be a beer order. And I know I've been on that side of things, just going outside, grabbing every new releases out there at my beer store. Um, it's easy, but also if you do this, you'll save up some money. Maybe get that to uh, subscribe yourself to a workout service, maybe some uh, yoga lessons or whatever. Do a little bit of that and you'll see some results coming out of it. I would also include to this maybe some sort of like refraining yourself from social media. Like doing those two things will help you not just focus on what's new and what's like the new hype out there and kind of like save yourself from spending the money or running after it. Obviously it's, it's harder because social media has a big, big part uh, of our daily lives, but also in the beer world, Instagram is just the way to go if you want to look for news for your friend, but news in the beer world. So if you can just maybe put that phone away, it will save you up some time, help you focus on maybe not getting stressed out by those all like algorithm stuff that I know from my part, if I look too much at Instagram, I get anxious, I get too judgmental about myself and all that. So doing this will help you so that you won't dive into this kind of like deep hole of you know what i'm gonna sit down have on one two three beers and just depress about it yeah so obviously if you ask me there's another really really good reason to maybe go alcohol free for a month or just to reduce on your own alcohol risk like consumption consumption is that basically you'll feel much better better because if you're even worried about oh man I'm gonna lose all my beer palate and whatsoever there's still an amazing amazing mix of already available alcohol free drinks and beers that you can enjoy how crazy is that right um, and what I'm drinking right now is Big Drop Galactic. is a nice little stout, 0.4%. You have all the aromas you'll be looking into a stout. I'm pretty sure it's also brewed with lactose. So you do get a nice mouthfeel. It's creamy. You do get a little bit of that nice sweetness in the back. Obviously, body is always lacking in beer uh, without alcohol. And this is probably one of the best ones I've had. So sit back, relax, and... Take it chill, seriously, and doing those little steps will help you grow as a human, 
you'll feel better, you'll sleep better, um, and just overall, you enhance your own life with those little steps. You might find me annoying always talking about that, but I do think it's something that we have to take responsibility as media creators uh, on the platform, on YouTube here, but on Instagram while we're talking about beer because we do get loads of beer coming out from breweries that want us to try it, but also I have beers that I'm looking forward to just purchase them, try them for the channel especially or just for content on Instagram and all this builds up into uh, somewhat a negative image towards you guys that we just look like we're always drinking, but it's not the actual situation and I obviously I told that at the beginning of the video I'm not a superhuman I don't have the secret recipe around it but I do think that it's something that I want the platform Ops and Bros that we're what we're doing right now to be a bit more focused towards that I want you guys to be smart drinkers not just like beer drinkers but drink smarter if it makes sense at all then uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, it helps support everything we do and if you have your own tips about that or you're telling me that it's completely bullshit then double click on that dislike button. It always works. Cheers.